Hello YouTube, what's going on? It's Liam the Boss and we are back in episode number four of Levi's Nightmare, a kind of horror custom map mystery. And you can find all previous episodes in the description because we've already explored quite a few things. And now we are going to explore the town hall. Let's have a look in here. Something on the side of these. Hidden messages. That could what? Accessible from Peter and Wanda's house. That glows at night. Behind the odd looking tree. That makes no sense, but yeah. Oh I see what we did there. So, secret conference room. Do we like... Ah, I see what they've done. Black Spot Crisis Emergency Meeting. Can the coal mine serve as an evacuation camp? Must act within one day. Do not inform the infected. Bring only the essentials. Final decision. Okay, so there's some information on what they're doing. So there's nothing really much down here apart from background story information about where they're like evacuating the town from this disease and it's getting pretty weird. Read note twelve, okay. Note twelve. Oh, it's another real long one. Oh well, right. You pick up an old journal with the title Quirt Hecking's Journal. It reads September 6th. Odd looking black spots have showed up in various houses and shops around town. I have spent the day trying different ways to remove them. I have had no luck so far. It appears the townspeople also have no luck. September 7th. More houses and shops have been infected, including the town hall. It's very frustrating. September 12th. People are starting to get very sick. Is it related to the spots? I'm not sure. September 13th. More people are getting sick. Charles died today. I can't believe it. He was so healthy. We have to take them. We have to take action. Death grips us all. I have called an emergency meeting in the secret conference room. <coughs> September 15th. I know, September 14th. Operation Evac has started. So far, things are going as planned. September 15th. My old friend Travis showed up today. He will join us during the e evacuation. It appears the situation on his farm at Sheen Slopes is as I thought. The black spots have spread there too. I can only hope Dab knows what he's doing. We have gathered what we can and are about to leave. So the people of <clears throat> this town have apparently evacuated and I don't think they're coming back, to be honest. Church, obviously there's something in here. There's always something in the church. Damn sneaky churches with the sneakiness. Communion wafers. Um, holy water. Ooh. Could do. No. That grenade. Uh, holy water. It's like a. Is there nothing actually in the church? Was I... Was I turned down by my amazing... Um... Stuff. That was boring. <clears throat> Smith fine ores and gems. Apparently they're closed. Okay, so this doesn't really... Seems to be anything in here. It's like get on the back. Employees only. 
Well, I'm an employee now. <laughs> I'm employing myself. There's nothing in there, but it's so cool. There seems to be anything in here. So let's leave. Um, sheriff's office. There's bound to be some information in here. Read note 13. find the crumpled note on the ground. It reads, Sheriff Hector is dead. I keep calling out but nobody answers. I need food. So that is obviously the prisoner who is in his cell. And he needs food and he's obviously starved to death in there. And uh, is that all the houses that we've done in here? This town? Uh I think it is. Can we like go around here? Is there any more that we haven't been in? That's not exactly a large town. Well, leaves are okay to break. There are any leaves. Um, well, we obviously don't go out that way, so... Ow. Uh, these cookies are pointless. I keep hearing spiders, but I don't know where they're coming from. Just get our food bar restocked. So that is the full town that we've been in. And the map leads us out this way. Towards that red dot. And it's turning night time. So do we want to really go? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it. I don't care what anyone else says, we're gonna make it. It's gonna add a bit more flavour to our adventure. So it doesn't really. I'm guessing the black spots are everywhere, so can't really get a direct kind of thing where we're going. Right, red dot is that way apparently. There, there. Down here, I can see the light. It's a chest and a sign. Um, so if we go down here. Oh god, that scared me. Come over here. No. Don't go into the darkness. Stupid skeleton. Don't need that bone. The ancient, that's the thing that you were talking about before then. Gold. Ooh, a torch. Um, so we'll go up here. Oh, this is going to be a fun walk. <laughs> uh, can we sneak past? We can sneak past them. Not past him. Maybe we can. Um, run! Kill this creeper. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Plus key. <gasps> Black spot evacuation camp. Stop before proceeding. Close door. Right. Jump to proceed. Press and run through. Airlock. Jump to enter Black Spot Evacuation Camp. Ooh. Well, this isn't very Black Spot free. Um. Right, so. This is the evacuation camp where all the people have gone, so there's got to be some kind of 
interesting stuff in here. Just check all these chests really fast. Do I need... Do I need anything? What's that? No, there's nothing really of interest in here. Read note 16, okay. Note number 16. You find a note inside Harold Smith's chest. It reads, September 15th. So many people have died. Thank God the mayor has a plan. September 16th. This will be my home for days, weeks. I hope Irva can develop a vaccine. I don't know how long I can last down here. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. September 20th. Bread for breakfast, lunch and dinner. What I'd do, what I'd do for fresh fruit and sweet pastries. September 27th. The boredom is driving me mad. I crave the freedom of the outdoors, the smell of fresh air, flowers in bloom. Instead, this place is talking on a, pre on a putrid odour. <coughs> I can't stand it anymore. I need to feel the rays of sunlight on my face. I know we're on the maze alarm system and I know where to get some tools for digging. October 15th. Second day of digging. This may take longer than I thought. Good thing I have this painting to conceal my work. So he's got a paint, he's got a tunnel behind the painting. It smells like the Shawshank Redemption. November 4th. Today I detected small rays of light from the rock surface. I'm so close. <coughs> November 5th, I have begun to break through. I can feel the rush of fresh air on my face. I'm going to make it. And then it ends. So it's got a pain. Is that is this? So, any more? Here? No? Here? <gasps> yeah! But I can't see. I can see the light at the top of there, but. That goes to the surface, so we don't really want to go in there yet. Rooms. Um, office for the mayor. Nothing in here, apart from a crappy alarm. No, 17, okay. 17. Here we go. You pick up a book with the title May Quirt Hecking's Journal. So we've read this before. Or is it the same one? Airlock seems seems to be working well. We can only hope it prevents con contagion from entering here. It should also keep any zombies at bay. I hope we moved here in time. So now the zombies introduced. September 17th. Over has given me some blueprints for possible future rooms and offices. I suspect that isolation and boredom will take its toll on our people. We need to keep everyone busy and focused on constructing our temporary home. If we're making good progress with the half of our people building and the kitchen and the hydroponics. What? Building kitchen, forget the other bit. <laughs> it's a good sight to see. I've also made a schedule to keep things more organised. September 27th. So far things are going well. Every everyone is a little bit homesick, but that was expected. I can see Ova has made some progress with regards to the vaccine. I hope he can find a cure quickly. People are starting to get restless. It won't be long before someone goes mad. It's getting harder and harder to keep people under control. No one could find Harold tonight, so that's the guy who dug out Harold Smith. This isn't a big place and we've looked everywhere. Where is he? Horrible, horrible news. A spot's found its way inside the camp. Widespread panic and disbelief is in the air. How did this happen? Is this related to Harold? November 8th. So, uh, the spot came in when he dug the hole out, so the spots managed to get the way in through the airlocks and such. So that makes sense. 
The disease is killing the crops. We are running low on food. I don't know what to do. I am out of options. Over is dead. All hope is lost. So the person with it's coming up with the vaccine is dead. And yeah, so if you want to carry on, we can tune back in episode 5. And we're going to find out possibly, well I think we're near the end of this custom map because it's seeming to come towards a conclusion and this is normally how things end unless it's got a big surprise. So yeah, episode number 5, next video, see you later.